how much are your toques? $10 for a toque. $10 for socks. Oh, okay. Toque Tuesday is taking place for the first time in the Okanagan. Volunteers enticed people to purchase socks or put a cap on and support the Raise the Roof campaign. From the sale of the toques and socks benefit um, 10 out of the $10 for each of those things, $8 goes towards the programs and services that we do with the youth that are at risk. The Okanagan Boys and Girls Club serves as the only youth shelter between Vancouver and Calgary, supporting teens who are experiencing or close to homelessness. I find that um, a lot of people are surprised to learn that there are homeless kids in Kelowna and the, ki the kids are amazing. They are kids who might have been kicked out of home, they might have been, had trouble at school, they might have got involved in something, maybe they made some bad decisions that aren't working out for them so well right now, but these are good kids who deserve a shot. They need people who are going to give them a chance and take care of them and help them get what they need and that's what we're here for. So. Michael Brown has been using the services at the centre for a few weeks and was happy for the community support for what he calls his second home. I think it's a fun place to be. It's a great place for students and kids to be able to go and have a fun time and to be able to try and meet some new people and whatnot. Paul Davis Systems provides the other half of the partnership with Raise the Roof. They tempted supporters with yummy donuts and hot chocolate. And at Paul Davis Systems, we're all about community, and I think that speaks in volumes to, to how we need to help out. Uh, we're not only a company, we're a community partner, and we're, we adopt that very seriously. If you are unable to make it out for Tuke Tuesday, you can still support the cause. For the rest of February, socks and toques will be available for sale at the Downtown Youth Centre at 1633 Richter. Come on by between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. I'm Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.